September 5th, 2013. This is Eric Shute with Mark Stevens, and we are dealing with the IRS, the most belligerent group of thugs and criminals I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I, it was astounding when he made the comment about not needing evidence and, and uh, that he could proceed in good faith without any evidence of jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. And he wouldn't That's put in and he wouldn't put in writing when he said that he uh, that if I just owed two thousand dollars and I didn't pay it that I wouldn't go to jail. Then I asked him to put that in writing and assume full liability for it, and he wouldn't do it. Yep. We'll see how a supervisor is. They usually, just you know. Have them call back and you know. Like, I guess All right. They, Thanks for your patience. Yes. So I've got the uh, manager call back set for you. Should call you within the next 24 hours. Right. What's his or her name? Her name is Miss Smythe. Smythe. Yes. Before I let you go, Mr. Cook, other than threats of, of uh, you know, uh, of, of, you know, or aggressive, aggressive force, you know, do this or we'll take your stuff, what kind of jurisdiction do you guys, you know, really have over Mr. Sh uh, Again, Mr. Stevens, I'm not going to get into that with you. Yeah, I don't have anything to do with that, so I'm not going to be able to answer that in any way, shape, or form. So it's set up the way you have it so that you just, you, you exercise no discretion whether it's correct or not. You just send these lev levies out so people's things are taken. In regards to jurisdiction, correct, yes. If you live in the United States and you work in the United States, you fall under our jurisdiction. Even though you, you're not in a position to really articulate any kind of evidence to prove that? That your client lives and works in the United States? Yeah, why is it that you right. think, yes. why do you think that the Constitution laws apply to him just because he's physically in this part of North America? Why is it that you think that they don't? I, I'm not saying that they do. The, the burden lies on the one making the accusation, especially when those accusations are backed, backed by aggressive force and taking people's property by force. You're the ones making the allegation, not me. So what evidence... You can, you can talk to me till you're blue in the face, Mr. Stevens, but I'm not going to be able to answer that question because I don't believe that your question is a valid question. Oh, so me asking you to actually prove your, your assertions is it's not valid. Don't question me. I'm the IRS. I can do it. We can take your stuff and don't question no, me. No, that's not. That's, that's exactly Stevens, what you're saying. Okay. If I question That's your interpretation you're doing, of that. Uh, well, I, I, well yeah, uh, it, it's pretty basic. I'm asking you to prove your assertions. You're telling me you don't think it's a valid question. Correct. <clears throat> Well, how is my... So, I don't, have a, I don't have a decent answer for you because I don't believe your question has any validity. Okay. You, but so, you just, you, your job is to just take people's things with no discretion, no principle of right and wrong, don't worry about whether there's jurisdiction or not, just do what you're told and take people's stuff. I'm not going to be able to answer that question either. Also, I, I don't believe it's valid because I, I believe that I do have jurisdiction. I believe it is valid. I believe I do have those rights. Yes. Okay, but you, you, you can't by your own admission, answer, answer a question regarding evidence to actually prove that there's jurisdiction. You right. Just so you have you faith. Answer those questions. So you have faith that you have jurisdiction. You don't have any actual evidence, and you're not qualified to determine if there is evidence to back that assertion up. Correct. Blind faith. That's really impressive when you're talking about other people's property and other people's lives, to have blind faith in, 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 in a violent, aggressive system. Because it's not your stuff that's being violently taken. It's Miss, it's Eric's. Uh, okay. I understand. I, I fully understand your position and what you're doing. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, I think it's shameful. I think it's immoral at best. But, uh, I will. Uh, I I have the same feelings about what you do. What do I do that you find so immoral? You what, what am I doing that you find immoral? Well, calling on behalf of Mr. Shute here. How is that immoral? I authorize that. How is that immoral? How is that immoral? Yes. Yes. Well, I think you're you're going to be punished for it at some point in time. Yeah, but how is it? it too. How is it immoral? Let's separate the immoral part from the punishment. Because you how disagree with the tax. 
we disagree because there's no evidence that you can provide. How is that immoral? I think it is. Can you articulate that? Yeah, uh, why your, morals, you your morals are different from my morals. My morals are, are based on uh, voluntary interaction and the. And you would say that they're different from my morals. Is that correct? I think they are. I think you. Would, I think so. That would make it immoral on my behalf, right? So by doing things voluntarily and and not using aggressive force and asking questions, that to you is immoral. But the opposite of being involuntary, using aggressive force and not questioning, that's moral to you. Again. You're making a false statement, so I can't just... No, we're asking you for clarification. You we're asking you for verification, clarification and validity. Is that is that... You're not asking me for that. You're asking me, you're giving me some statement that I know is not a valid statement and asking me to say whether it's right or wrong. Well, I can't because the argument that you've created with your statement is ridiculous. It's not an argument. So I, I can't agree or disagree with it because it makes no sense. But where am I? Where am I being immoral? I don't understand what my by mind having is. different morals for me, Mr. Stevens, that makes you immoral. Okay, but describe what your it is. morals are different from my morals. You're saying my morals are immoral. I'm saying that's not right. Your morals are immoral. But what? Where, where's where's the problem with that? But what am I doing that you believe? I, what specifically am I doing other than questioning you? Do you questioning find the jurisdiction of your client and whether it's valid that he has to take that's immoral whether he can be loving or not and you think that's immoral yes because I believe that we do have the right to collect on the taxes that he has not paid so when we ask you for question fact. you on that wait let me finish Ari. and, and you you think it's immoral for me to question you on the evidence that you rely that's on that's not what evidence? I said well, I'm asking you to clarify that, because I'm asking... Your morals yeah. regarding this are not valid. Therefore, they are immoral. Okay, what more do I need to say about that? Because I'm trying to pin down what you find immoral about my... You, know, you think it's immoral... Your views on why he should not have to pay the taxes. Because there should be evidence proving it first? Your views on why he should not have to pay the taxes. My view is that he should have that you and your and your associates should have evidence first. Okay, you I it. understand you, Mr. Stevens. And you think that's immoral? I understand what you're saying. Okay, and I'm just trying. To and I, you think that's immoral that yeah. we we require? I'm evidence. done talking. All right. You like the rest of them to just hang up. All right, hold on. Uh, before, hang up. Before, before you oh, before, okay. before, well, before you hang up, let me ask you something. You, you said something. You said something. To talk to me, <clears throat> but again, I'm not going to answer any more questions regarding this. Okay, so all right, off the topic of me and just to generalize that, because just looking at what something you said, you said that anyone within North America or working in North America is under your jurisdiction. If we look at the definition of jurisdiction, being authority and force and control. In that sense, if everyone in North America is under your control, does that mean that everyone in North America is a slave to your company? I don't work for a company. Oh, you work for the IRS. Is everyone is a slave to the IRS? Am I a slave? Are you a slave? Again, a ridiculous question. Not I don't really. Know. Are you a slave? Not, not, that's not, not really ridiculous Do you work because for I, free? someone requiring you to work for free. No, you no. And you're is under someone you, forcing you to work for free. No, you're all right. The IRS is trying to force so, no, me. No, you're not. You're not forced to work for free. No, that, he's asked, he's forced to ask permission from a group of of, uh, of people like yourself. That if he does not get the permission, people like yourself will take his stuff by force and then possibly put him in prison. If he wants to live in the United States of America, yes, we do so, have a set of so, rules that are that are to be followed so that everybody can be treated the same and be equal and get the benefits of the roads and the building codes and we, all those kinds of things. Okay, but what if again, you don't want to? If you don't want those things, you know, you're certainly welcome to move someplace else. Not without your permission, so that's kind of a... No, problem. absolutely. You can move anywhere you like. Oh, you can not need the permission of my, myself or the United States of America. Yes, you do. You can't leave without a passport, and you know it. It's, it's, it's disingenuous at best. You need permission for everything. But I think we've exhausted the, 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 this. this. Uh, you, you think it's moral to force people to follow your rules, and you think that's moral. 
You think it's, it's, it's moral to force people to do what you want and to pay you. And we don't believe it's moral to force people on the threat well, I, I disagree with that. the word force. Yeah. Well, well, I disagree with the word force, but I think it's moral that you should have to pay your taxes, absolutely. So it's, it's moral to force people to pay for services they may or may not want. That's how taxes are, yes. Is it moral or not? Is it moral to force people to pay for things they may or may not want? I agree. Yes, it is moral to pay for things that you may or may not want. Okay, so it's in the moral form of pay, taxes. It's, oh, if you okay, so if you use so it's wordsmithing. If you just add the word taxes to it, so if exactly, I exactly, exactly, so Mr. Smith, it is wordsmithing. It is. I would use that. I would use that term exactly. Yeah, you rely on wordsmithing to cover up the threat. So do you. I do. So do you. How so? You you keep using the word threat. All that, all that other junk. That's all wordsmithing. That's really? what I think. So if I sent you, if I sent you a, a box of my books because I'm a writer, and I said you will pay me or I will take your stuff, you wouldn't consider that uh, immoral. Why would I want a box of your books? You don't have to. It, 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 just like why would I want the IRS? Why would I want anything the federal government uh, provides? I have to pay for it anyway. It's not a matter of your consent. We're looking at the way you and your associates do business, and you say it's moral to force people as long as you pay it, call it taxes. I'm going to send you these books. You're going to pay me. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to take all your stuff and call it taxation. You see the difference? You see? Yeah, I disagree with that. Uh, you would, because you're profiting off of it, and you make a living. And you, uh, I understand. You have. I understand. That's how you make your living. It's okay and moral for you. But if you, Eric and I do the same thing, all of a sudden you disagree. You see, now we're on the same page. We disagree with you forcing us to pay for things we may or may not want. Are right. you? Yeah. You're you're allowed to disagree. No. That's what's great about the United States of America. It doesn't work that way because you're, you're taking his stuff anyway. It's not a matter of, oh, you can disagree. You take his stuff anyway by force. Okay. We'll expect a call from this, my, my 